story to tell? Well, the artist who created this image is sharing positive words of health from 56 languages, all in an effort to bring people and nationalities together in an art exhibit entitled Coming Together. And I am very pleased to welcome Loretta Bebo as she has her own story of reinvention after age 50 herself. Thank you for reaching out to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for asking me. This is a very exciting series to see because I, this is an example of what it is that you're going to have on exhibit. But tell me a little bit about you. How did you get to the now? Um, well, I started um, when I divorced. That was when I was at age 50. Uh, I started working with text. I started scrambling letters to, uh, to illustrate that I was lost and I was uh, off key, didn't know what I was going to do, and uh, put them into large uh, pieces of sheetrock, uh, 10, uh, 12 inch pieces that were in, arranged in tic-tac-toe. And that is the game of chance. And mm. it's the first game that people are taught when they're children usually. And communication, it's about communication as well. Uh, so from there I decided uh, I needed to do something else. It was, well, I also incorporated um, the alphabet because I have a hearing loss. And so I was talking about conversation and communication and uh, suddenly I thought, oh, I should do something more positive and decided to celebrate uh, the people I had met in my life, celebrate my heritage, celebrate my grandmother who brought the watercolors out to me when I was four years old and I learned how to play with color. And um, I, st I started talking to friends that I had, uh, Hindi, uh, interviewed a Somali uh, girl. Uh, we had to go to the elders because she had already forgotten the language. She didn't learn the language. So I realized that this is, type, this is important to um, document the language because the languages are, are fading out. Mm. Mm. So uh, from there I applied to a state arts board uh, for a grant and I used the tic-tac-toe pieces and then I made uh, panel, panels on, on uh, paintings on panel uh, and they were feng shui uh, colors and the feng shui bagua and I had also the language is in there. That's a bright red image. Mm -hmm. and, but, and red is very important to feng shui, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good reputation. That it's about good reputation mm -hmm. and being honorable. Mm -hmm. So each color has a significance in a person's life. Uh, and yellow is a significant of health. Mm. And the common word is health. So if I were to look in all of these languages and do a Google search, that's the only way I'd be able to find it. These would all represent the word health. Yes, except, except this particular one is a Tibetan phrase, and that is the body and mind of health. So that is, that you won't find that. Um, and also a Native American, Dakota, uh, Dakota, uh, they use the word wisdom. Mm. The Native American, I also have Ojibwe on here. Uh, so that uh, the word wisdom and also um, Hmong here, mm. that is a phrase, the Hmong community uses a phrase according to the situation. So mm. are you getting better from your cold? That would be a different, you know, yes, I feel healthy today. They would mm -hmm. do a different phrase. Interesting. And uh, so I learned things as I was doing this. I was interviewing, went out to interview, and I also get them reaffirmed when people come to visit my studio or come to the show. They'll say, um, oh, this isn't how you spell it. I've also learned that people are a bit competitive. They like to be seen on here. They want to be seen. So people have added, they've come to my studio, they've added uh, my, a word for me. They'll show me how to write the word. They'll talk about the word. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Let's give our viewing audience a chance to figure out what's, where they can go see this. Uh, you can find Loretta Bebo's Coming Together at Homewood Studios, 2400 Plymouth Avenue North in Minneapolis. And it opens October 17th? Yes. Yes? The reception is the 19th. Okay. And then it runs through November 3rd. So we hope you can see it.